What's up guys? Just want to show you a video update on Magnus. Kind of show you what we're working on with him. So we're working on um, having him do all the, the obedience without the help from the leash. So I'm still using a long line just in case he needs a little bit of guidance with it. But I want to teach him um, to, to resolve everything on his own without my help. So this is kind of a big step for him. Right now he's holding a place command, which is gonna be really beneficial in the home. If you guys are eating dinner together as a family, um, it's good to have him stay on a place bed. Uh, when guests come to the door, it kind of keeps dogs from jumping, bolting doors, um, kind of being neurotic and stuff in a really hectic, and really a hectic, um, filled time when, when people ring the doorbell. So really good to set up some nice boundaries. If you have like some cleaning to do, this is, this is a, and you want to make sure you're supervising him, this is also a good command to place him here. Good job, buddy. Good. Okay. Heel. Good. So I'm going to start him out with a little bit of leash guidance on the heel, and then I'm going to go to dropping it. Good boy. There we go. Boy, come on, sweetie, come on. Good boy, he's not super loving the leash dragging, but it's just to help him out if he needs it. Wait, good, good job. Down, so I'm gonna ask him to down right here. Magnus, down, 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 down. Good, so he needed a little bit of guidance. As the leash goes away, sometimes they get a little bit confused, but we still stick with it. So continue to ask him. And I was using a little bit of low level e collar. Good boy. So staying um, and, and laying down away from you is really important to practice each and every day with him because it teaches dogs lots about impulse control and kind of self-limiting excitement and stress. Lots of good stuff. Good job, buddy. Good. Okay. Good boy. Good job.